So what's happening in our world? So first of all, candidates are taking control. Yeah? No longer a candidate saying, hi, Mr. and Mrs. Recruiter, this is who I am, this is what I do. Could you please represent me and find me a role? Yeah? 90% of candidates who apply for roles on SEEK apply to at least two different employers slash recruiters. Yeah? Every so often I hear a recruiter say, what are you doing with my candidates? Candidates don't think of themselves as being owned by a recruiter or a hirer. Candidates are in full control. Yeah? And the AI has given them that possibility. They can apply online in the tram on their app on the way to work. Yeah? So they've taken all control. So there's been a real flip around who's in control of the conversation here. In our world, we're doing any number of things. Uh, we're doing much better search. Yeah? So there's a world of something called information retrieval, where you say, well, I've got an example up here, um, where you say, where you type in, I'm looking for human resources, uh, sorry, HR manager, um, and we will give you a whole bunch of things that say, HR manager, HR manager, HR manager. But through our machine learning, through our artificial intelligence, we know that there's this thing called people and culture manager that's emerging. And as people look for HR manager, they think, oh, hold on, people and culture manager is something else that I know of in the industry, I'll look for that. And our models are picking that up. The best example that I've seen, that kind of made me stand up and take notice, are the part-time hairdressers, sorry, are the people searching for part-time hairdressing roles. Yeah? we find a really strong affiliation between part-time hairdressing roles in a specific location and retail roles in that location. But we don't see, when people search for retail roles in a specific location, part-time hairdresser roles. And I've never been a part-time hairdresser. Uh, I couldn't quite figure it out. So I spoke to our strap people and they said, Aunt, these are return to work mums who are qualified to be part-time hairdressers. Their first choice is to find a role that they're qualified to do in their main road. But in the absence of those roles, what you shouldn't be doing is readily going out and further out and further out and further out and keep giving them hairdresser roles because they want to be close to the baby. They want to be close to the child and they want to get home quickly. So what they do in the absence of roles that they're qualified to do is they look for something else close by. And our models pick up all these nuances. And we have in search now, we're trialling these, getting great results. Uh, we have about 20,000 of these models running um, on about 5% of Australian traffic uh, at the moment and um, shooting the lights out. We also do recommendations. Um, for those of you who are sitting next to your boss, you would never have seen this, but this is a email that comes out once a week uh, and a notification in your app that says, hey Anthony, just want to let you know, based on what we've seen uh, in terms of your activity and your profile, you might be interested in these things. Um, we have about 26 algorithms that run this. Um, the results have been extraordinary. Uh, we've seen almost 4 million applications go, 4 million quality applications um, go into the Australian marketplace that would never have occurred otherwise. Yeah? And the reason why this is such an important product is we know, I can't remember if I mentioned it at the start of the presentation or in conversation, but we know just the odds are that the best candidate is not looking for your role. Yeah? Candidates are only active a very small portion of the time. So bringing the roles to light to them via email through push is driving really, really strong uh, application rates. Yeah? Um, we have something called the approachability signal. Uh, it's certainly in our own um, native ATS, uh, and we're integrating with a number of other ATSs. Um, the approachability signal is something that helps you get to candidates quicker. So you can, in our premium talent search, um, leveraging our search technology, search for candidates for this role. Give me the, some candidates out of your database of 10 million Australians seek um, and help me to proactively go out to those candidates. Um, we have a little, I think it's represented as a flame at the moment, uh, may be approachable. There is nothing worse, and I've been in the position hiring myself, of calling what look to be really qualified candidates who say, actually, Yep, I can see why you'd be interested in me, but I'm not interested in moving right now. Yeah? So our approachability score is an algorithm that gives you a sense of who are the candidates who are more likely to want to move from their current role. So instead of ringing the best candidate who has zero chance of leaving their current employer, you can go to the second best candidate who has a high probability of wanting to leave their employer.
And we've seen great success um, through Premier Talent Search uh, and the, that signal uh, with, with a whole bunch of key clients where they've been able to kind of tailor their comms to the active, the approachable, the not so approachable, who they know are probably going to be customers anyway, uh, and have a really concerted campaign around talent acquisition. So, what are we trying to do? AI in general makes things far more efficient, right? So for the highly repetitive tasks, for example, reading 200 resumes for every ad that you post, AI is going to make that better, faster, more accurate. Yeah? So for those, for those activities where we can get a huge amount of data to train on, AI is going to play in that space. It's going to be better for candidates because we'll help them stand out. For those candidates who are really qualified, candidates tell us in all our research, how do I stand out? What do I need to do to be the best candidate for this role? And the AI is going to play in that space. So I want to finish with two quotes. Um, it's kind of died down the noise around, oh my God, a chicken little AI is coming, we're all going to be out of jobs. I think people are starting to get a little bit more settled on AI will do a whole bunch of things. It will make some jobs redundant, but it will create other value add propositions by the humans. And in our particular space, I genuinely think that human capital management, recruitment, talent acquisition, um, upskilling, um, there is an enormous human element to that. Yeah? And Alistair Cox, uh, the CEO of Hayes, has said, uh, today people do business with people. Um, this is, talent management largely remains a contact sport. I completely agree with that. In the Harvard Business Review, as AI makes us more efficient, a whole bunch of things like judgment are going to become more valuable. And so the example I always give, and it's a very low level example to possibly bring this to life. If you are recruiting for Gucci, a storefront, a retail role, there are any number of people who on paper will look qualified. They know how to use a POS device, um, they're punctual, they've worked in retail before. But when you, that person presents and they come to the interview, and they look like they just woke up out of the gutter and they've got BO and they can't hold a conversation, then that person probably isn't the right retail assistant for a high-end fashion store. And the AI can't pick that stuff up. At a more kind of valuable level, what I haven't seen any AI be able to do is how is this candidate going to fit into my culture? But more importantly, how are they going to add to my culture? What are they going to bring above and beyond to the mood of my team, the skill of my team, um, the general engagement of my team? And that is where um, human resource professionals are going to be able to spend more time and will take away the inefficient tasks, like I said, of getting the ads out there, of reading the resumes, of shortlisting, uh, and you will do the stuff that adds the greatest value in this space.